Podcast. Hi, I'm Joe. And yes, I know I've been away for a while, like pretty much an entire year, or at least about 11 months to be exact. But a lot of TV shows go away for long periods of time. I mean, it's been happening throughout TV history. You don't believe me? Well, here's a few examples. And here's a few more. And here's a few more. Well, anyway, I've been away for a while, so here's what the average consumer thinks of 2017. First up, both the Super Bowl and the Astros each had unpredictable endings, which I don't think was a coincidence. Each one is a TV special that depends heavily on advertising, so they needed people to watch all the way to the end, even for the weird dramatic ending. I mean, the thing is, even especially with sports, people know that it's a live event and they're going to be watching at that particular time. So therefore, advertisers try to get their message out to the public. They know advertising works. It's brainwashing. They show you something that you like, and then they show you their product. They show you something that they like, that you like, and then they show you the product. Which actually is kind of a good idea. Hmm. Next up, we lost a great man who lived in a mansion with a lot of hot women that can do amazing things. Somehow he made it to an old age, but he was mainly responsible for making a certain magazine really popular for teenager and 20 year old men. So I'm going to miss you, Hugh. Wait a minute, run that back with different graphics. Next up, we lost a great man who lived in a mansion with a lot of hot women that could do amazing things. Somehow he made it to an old age, but he was mainly responsible for making a certain magazine really popular for teenager and 20 year old men. So I'm going to miss you, Hugh. McDonald's had a promotion where they released Saskatchewan sauce, a sauce that was referenced in the cartoon Rick and Morty. The promotion was extremely successful, which explains their next promotion, the Archer Deluxe. There was an emoji movie. I guess the Archie Gang and the Power Rangers are emo now, since they both had dark remakes. Okay, all I'm asking is you stay away from the Saved by the Bell Gang, alright? I don't want to see a remake where Jesse, you know, is so excited, is so excited, and I know these. We also lost a great comedian. Yes, I'm talking about Jerry Lewis. He had a long career and a full life. He went from the nutty professor
to the asshole celebrity. How about do you have a you've had a long distinguished career? Do you have a favorite period of your career, a, a, a part of your career you look back on as, as a moment when you were uh, the favorite, happiest, or your most creative? What do you mean? Well, is there a period in your career that you look back on where you that was your your happiest time or your favorite time? When my partner was alive. Your partner was alive. So working with, with Dean Martin, was that your favorite? Yep. You know what they should do? They should take a movie that barely anyone saw and make a Christmas themed sequel where the character's parents come to visit. Yeah, no one wants to see that. And what's with all of these bad movies? Where you take someone who doesn't have their life together, isn't the best authority figure, and then you give them a couple of kids. And you put the word bad in the title, and then there you go. As if it's an original idea. I'm talking about bad teacher, bad moms, bad grandpa, Jackass Presents Bad Grandpa, Bad News Bears, the Bad News Bears remake, and speaking of Billy Bob Thornton, Bad Santa. All right, I'm tired of this cliche. I want it to stop. In other news, I guess a few people in Hollywood were getting a little too touchy-touchy and won't take no for an answer. I mean, who would have thought that these videos were shot in Harvey Weinstein's office? There have been complaints against Harvey Weinstein, Kevin Spacey, Brett Radner, and Dustin Hoffman. In fact, after the allegations against Kevin Spacey came out, Netflix canceled House of Cards. Oh, really? So, Mr. President goes weird all sexual and you fire him. Wouldn't that be cool if you could do that in real life? Also, there have been uh, people trying to touch young kids, including one of the kids from Stranger Things. I mean, can you leave this kid alone? He doesn't even have a real name. His name is Kid from Stranger Things. He was also featured in the movie It, which destroyed Balloon's all credibility after all of the hard work Up put into it. <laughs> Speaking of which, check this out. Hey, can you go on Amazon and get It Up and bring it on? <laughs> and finally, Universal's Dark Universe, which was their attempt to create crossover movies using recognizable characters very similar to what Marvel does. Here's the thing. They had everything in place. Recognizable characters, big stars. Uh, the thing that they failed on with their... Hmm, oh yeah, their movie sucked. Everything that happened in that movie had nothing to do with everything else happening in the movie. The characters said and did whatever they wanted. Did you make this movie up as you were going along and then when it, you were done you said hey let's make it worse and then did that 10 times and then finally took that product and said let's make it worse and then take that product and then just threw it out, put it in the garbage, shat on it, take it back in, rip it up and then said you know what I'll have my 10 year old kid do something. And then you took that product, made it worse, took that product, made it worse, and then finally said, who cares, Tom Cruise and Russell Crowe are in it, we're doing what Marvel does, let's release it anyway. Because here's the thing, anyone can do a crossover. Must See TV Thursday did it, TGIF did it, Saturday Morning Cartoons did it, anyone can do a crossover. But your job is to make an interesting movie with an interesting story. You fail. Heck, if you wanted to, uh, don't cross do a crossover movie that makes no sense because that's DC's job. All right, D it's DC's job to do a crappy version of what Marvel does, and you did a crappy version of what DC does. All right. And that's what the average consumer thinks of 2017.
All right, clean it out of here.